This is John Muller from the JP Muller Group. And today I wanted to give you an overview of Our Kids Matters. It's a co-parenting spreadsheet that I created for parents who need to work together to pay child's expenses or children's expenses and to figure out who owes who what and uh, really manage through that process in a, in a, a fairly uh, seamless way. Um, when you get this sheet from me, you actually get two sheets. You get a blank one to start with so that you could start fresh with all of your own information, but I also give you a pre-filled one. And I'm going to walk you through the pre-filled one today so you can see the components of the sheet. On the first tab called Start Here, it has you enter the parents' names so it could help uh, customize the column names and things throughout the sheet that make it easier for you to like you see it, make it very relevant. Um, you, you enter the percent distribution. So if, let's say, the parents evenly split it, you'd enter 50%, calculate the other parent at 50%. In this case, we have a 60-40 split. Then we choose, in the case that we have a um, one parent paying child support, we choose the parent who um, pays the parent uh, the child support, and the rece recipient will automatically be filled in. Next, you enter your children's names, and uh, the last thing you do on this start page, and then you're all ready to go, is you can modify the categories. I put the most common categories here uh, for you to start with, but you could edit this as you would like. And then I give you some instructions on where to go next. And where you go is the actual ledger. Ledgers are really simple. Where you want to stay is in these first few columns up to uh, G. The ones with the white backgrounds, or excuse me, J. The ones up to the, the white backgrounds are the ones you edit. The ones with the gray backgrounds are automatically calculated for you. And you'll actually get a warning message if you try to uh, modify that. And in this um, sheet, you're first going to notice up top, it shows in column um, A2 here, Jane owes Bob $119. Basically, uh, the result of all the transactions to date is that Jane owes Bob $119. Um, you could put in beginning balances, you could put in reimbursements so that you could kind of manipulate that or get that Jane owes Bob back down to, you know, nobody owes anybody, Bob owes Jane, whatever. It's the result of all the transactions. The top transactions are samples where I give real world scenarios, right? John owed Jane to start, right? A beginning balance. And I explain how it was entered and why. So you get an idea of how to make various entries. Similarly, I, in plain English, tell you the type of entries at the bottom, the second set. Beginning balance, regular expense, expense covered by support, override split percent for child expenses, et cetera, et cetera. And I give examples of how to enter that information. You could choose to override the standard split. So in this case, we had a standard 60-40 split. And let's say for this cavity that the parents agreed had a side agreement to just you know split the expense. I can literally go under Bob's percent, change it to 50%, and now it's 50-50. Notice it highlights it in red to indicate that it's been overridden. Similarly, the other way to override is if you notice that whenever we checked off, let's say the cleats. So in New Jersey, let's say the law says that you know if uh, you have child support, then sporting equipment, regular sporting equipment, is covered by child support. So even though Bob did the initial outlay, he when we click covered in child support, it actually sets his percent share at zero percent because Jane is receiving the the child support and therefore is responsible. If we uncheck this, it would go back to the 60-40 split. And that really is all there is to it. You fill out the information here, and again, up top, it shows you what the scorecard is, if you will. I give you a couple um, report tabs where you have various slicers at the top where you go and I could say, let's say I just want to see expenses that had to do with Ava. And I could focus in on those based on date, based on category, based on the children, etc. Now, this also is all built on the power of Google Sheets. So I could share it. In this case, I've shared it with the other parent. And we could both make modifications. And if you ever want to tell who made what modifications, you could always go to version control. And 
you could see version history and you could click in and click down and you could actually see highlights of the cells where there were changes and who made them and when. So if you're questioning something, you, you could quickly focus in on it. We have also in here, we have drill down capability. So let's say I have a certain expense in here uh, that I want to understand a little bit more, know what it, it's made up of, this $250, let's say. And I could double click that and it'll quickly drill down and show me the expense. And you could do that for any cell in any pivot table. The last thing you could do is we could have a comments. So I could made a comment or Jane did, said, did you actually pay this yet? And I responded, yes, I did. And I actually did that through email. So if you look, whenever those are updated, an email goes out. So you see here, when Jane entered that, it sent Bob an email that said, yes, I did. And then Jane's going to say, thank you and reply right from email. So a lot of this work you could have without it going back and forth into the spreadsheet if there's just questions. Now, if we go back here, notice the spreadsheet's updated with a thank you from Jane. So that's really all there is to it. It seems simple enough. You're gonna find there's hundreds of these out on the internet. I feel this one's the most thoughtful in how it handles everything, how clear the transactions are, the ability to then drill down and use the reporting to uh, see the expenses by category, by children, by time, etc. I hope you really enjoy this and I'd love to hear your comments. Thank you.